In this video, what we'll be sharing with you guys is our personal expenses. So we're going to reveal some numbers with you. But obviously, this is not going to be the raw figures. It will be done in percentage, right? Hi, guys. My name is Jan. I'm the founder of The Present, where we talk about business, finance, and life-related matters. If you're interested about those topics, don't forget to subscribe and tap the notification bell so that every time we have new videos, you will get notified. So for this specific video, guys, we'll be sharing with you our personal finances. It's not going to be our business finance. Those two things are, we separate it on our own, right? And some people, they combine it, but for us, we intentionally separate our business finance and our personal finance. I'm hoping that you can catch up with all the numbers that we're gonna show you. That's the reason why we have a whiteboard right here to somehow make it easier for us to understand. Okay, here we go. So obviously everybody has their own income stream, right? So in our case, there's what you call 100% of our income, okay? And we're gonna, we're gonna divide this into two areas. So the first area is what we call essentials, right? Essentials. And from the 100% of our income, our essentials is actually 50%. Okay, our essentials is 50%. And right here, this is, what, uh, this is our savings, which is also 50%. Okay, so if this is our income, 50% of that goes to our essentials. We're gonna show you the breakdown of our essentials. And then the 50% of our income goes to our savings. And you're gonna also know like what specific savings account. If you watch our video about the money management system, we talked about the different kinds of accounts that everybody should have, or in our case, uh, I believe that everybody should have because we have this account, right? And if you haven't watched that video, it's going to be right here somewhere in the card, so just uh, click that video if you wanna watch it. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. So, from the 50% essentials, right, 30% of that goes to our groceries by the way i'm referring to this on a monthly basis right so 30 percent of the money that we are allocating for our essentials goes to our groceries right our food our water or whatever it is that we need to have in order for us to survive groceries okay and then 10 percent of that is our utilities when we talk about utilities we're referring to our electricity bill and our water bill okay so 10% of that goes to our utilities. And then 10%, <laughs> this may be funny for you, but uh, since we have pets right now, 10% of that goes to our pets. We currently have two cats and um, they're cute in a way. So 10% of that goes to pets. Like what I'm referring to that is like their, their vaccines, their checkup, their vet clinic, whatever. So 10% of the money that we are paying for is for our pets. And then 10% is for our entertainment, right? So when we are, what we are referring to when we say entertainment is our like Netflix or our subscription to Spotify and my subscription to Dota Plus because I'm, I'm playing Dota if you, if you don't know, right? So I'm not good, I'm just an average player, I just do it for fun and things like that. So 10% of that goes to entertainment and then 10% of that goes to like um, meals, okay? When I talk, uh, when I'm, what I'm referring to meals, like uh, it's like our restaurant experience, like when we go to restaurants and we order food and things like that. And lastly, 30% goes to our buffer, okay? What, this, uh, what does buffer mean? Like it's our petty cash, maybe there are some expenses that we haven't forecasted, but it's essential for us to pay for it then that's the reason of the buffer. So if you're, if you're gonna sum this all up, this is going to be 100%, and this is where our money is going when it comes to our essentials, right? So when we talk about essentials, by the way, what we are referring to are the things that we constantly need in order for us to live comfortably or according to our own means, right? And then this is the breakdown of it, okay? So now that we've talked about essentials, we're now gonna transfer to this one, savings, okay? So when it comes to savings, guys, um, 
how we save money is that we divide it into three things. So the first one is what we call the emergency account. Okay? Emergency account. We are saving money for emergencies. In this case, it is actually 20%. So from the 50% of our income, right? 20% of that goes to our emergency account. Now, when we talk about emergency account, this is the money that we are using for our insurances, like life insurance, health insurance, car insurance, or, or even our medical bills, right? Because sometimes we go to the doctor for some reason, and then we're gonna pay for their services, professional fees or medication, then that's the account that we are using for that specific reason. And then 30% goes to our desire account when we talk about desire that's what we're referring to is like the things that you want and it's kind of expensive right it may be a car it may be a house and not maybe you're saving up for it or it may be also like a pair of shoes that you have been wanting for quite some time or if you want to donate something because you feel you wanted to help people out then that's the desire account Okay, when you want to give gifts, especially now we're shooting this video during Christmas or around the Christmas season, then that's the account that you're going to use, that we are using to know if we have the funds to give gifts to our friends, families, or whatsoever, right? And then 50% goes to our investments, okay? When we talk about investments, we are actually investing in real estate, stock market, both in the Philippines and US, cryptocurrency, um, forex investing, and whatsoever. It also includes our growth funds and our um, investing in ourselves, right? Our personal development. So there are moments where we, we are still attending webinars or seminars or workshops or whatsoever that can help us to become a better person. <laughs> and uh, we are also developing ourselves to become better in terms of profession not just personal so if you notice that 20 percent is our emergency and 30 percent is our desire if this is our recommendation if you don't have the emergency account yet for example you haven't set up uh, set aside like three months to six months worth of your expenses that's the reason why you have to make this a little bit bigger compared to the desire account the reason why this is our breakdown right now because we are done setting up our emergency account but still on a monthly basis we're still putting money over there because we are paying our insurance on a monthly basis right so the insurance money and the uncertainties which is the three months to six months worth of your expenses it's coming from here so if you don't have this yet it is highly recommended for you to make this a little bit bigger and then the desire should be smaller right and then investments you can make it bigger as well but eventually the moment you're done setting it up you can do something like this by the way this is our own personal finance we're not saying that this is how your personal finance should look like because everybody has their own money management system you have your own financial issues but at least you know this is our way of doing it okay so whew, that's a lot of numbers and obviously we're not going to show you guys the the exact numbers but at least you know that's the percentage of each account okay if this video added value to you in any way don't forget to click the like button so that it will help us out in terms of our youtube algorithm and i'm going to ask you a question of the day in your case maybe you also want to share your personal percentage right your finance percentage in terms of where your money is going you can also share that in the comment section so that we can also have a chat over there and see if we are on the same page maybe, right? So yeah, do that. Let us know in the comment section and see you in the next videos.